Use code now. The other thing. Hey guys, so for this video, I'm making an updated keybinds guide for Chapter 2, Season 2. The last time I made a video dedicated to only keybinds was around 4 months ago, and that was just a simple discussion video. For this one, I'm basically going to cover all the questions I repeatedly get asked, and talk about all the best keybinds for each different action or feature in the game. On top of that, I'll talk about why optimal binds are still important, as well as which pros have recently switched to better settings themselves. Before we start though, I'll quickly throw up some time stamps in case you want to skip around. You guys know I always recommend watching the whole thing through, that way you can come to your own conclusions on the topic, but feel free to do as you please. So on that note, let's start with my optimal keybind philosophy. Now, by philosophy, of good binds, the final and most important rule is using what's comfortable to you. No matter how optimal the binds you theorycraft are, they will not work out.
out if they're not comfortable for yourself. Have you noticed how I have decently optimal keybinds, but not the most optimal like I'll show later? That's simply because I'm not comfortable in changing them. Swapping around my crouch key or anything like that would hurt my finger, and I'm not gonna force myself to play in pain just for the sake of optimal keybinds. So above all else, find what's comfortable to you. Alright, moving on, I'm gonna talk about specific keybinds I recommend for each major action I just mentioned, as well as specific keybinds I think you should avoid. Starting with your wall, I highly suggest putting it on your mouse side button. I I know some of you guys might find it awkward at first, but trust me, being able to strafe right and left while taking walls is one of the most helpful things ever while box fighting. I always had my wall on cue, and while it wasn't completely terrible, it definitely held me back in terms of box fighting and feeling comfortable in close range engagements. Oh, and before I forget, the other reason I suggest you use your mouse button is that you have to pull your wall out a lot, which is not good if your finger is not hovering over it or you have a weak pinky. Still, if you have a strong pinky, or you prefer using your thumb, they are just as good as a mouse button as you can see from my tier list. <laughs> in the second tier like F could be in the first one if you tilt your keyboard like clicks and hit F with your thumb. All it comes down to is what you're most comfortable using. Next up, your floor. I recommend using C or V and hitting that with your thumb. This sounds a lot easier than it actually is, hence why I don't use it. Most people that do, I believe tilt their keyboard like 15 to 20 degrees vertically. This way they can rest their palm on the space bar to jump and then their thumb on the bottom row of their vertically. This way they can people that do, I believe, tilt their... keyboard like 15 to 20 degrees vertically. This way they can rest their palm on the space bar to jump and then their thumb on the bottom row of their keyboard to hit C and V. Don't worry if you're not comfortable with that because there's a ton of other options as you can see here. Most of the them, as you'll notice, are the same ones I said to use for your wall, and that should make sense because they're all close to WASD or completely off of your index and ring finger. Following that up is your ramp, which I recommend you put on your other mouse side button. That means you'll have wall on one and ramp on the other. The reason I recommend putting your ramp on it and not your floor is that you'll use your ramp more often, and it's also more important for box fights and build battles. So if you only have a few options for builds that you can put on your thumbs or pinky, make sure you prioritize your wall and ramp first. Some other decent options are things like E and Q that you've seen twice already for the other build pieces. you just want something close to WASD or preferably off your index and ring finger. Lastly for your cone, turn sprint by default on and put it on left shift. Most people, including me, have really weak pinkies and can't spam it as much as we can like the rest of our fingers. With a cone, however, you're never really spamming it and you can always quickly whip it out without losing control of your movement since your pinky should be hovered over it at all times. Potential backup binds are the same ones I've showed like three times already, but if
If you can, do your best to put your cone on left shift. Onto one of the most highly debated binds, and that is your edit key. In my own opinion, the two best edit binds are E and F. Both of these key binds are extremely close to WASD and are. You're hit by your yeah. index finger. But Charion, didn't you say you want major actions off your index and ring fingers? Yes, yes I did. The one thing that does not apply to though is editing. You need to be able to spam your edit key to edit That's fast. Right. I don't care how fast you can spam your pinky, your thumb, or your ring finger, your index finger will always be faster. Yeah. However, that does not mean G is a good edit bind. F is quite literally right next to it and closer to WASD. Even Booga, who hasn't changed any binds in years, recently switched from G to F for editing. And as far as F versus E goes, I really don't think it makes that big of a difference. I know Mongrel switched from F to E a few weeks ago, mainly to help him do Mongrel classics, but it mainly depends on how you position your keyboard and what you find more comfortable. So again, E or F are tier 1.
One chance to get all the way in. This is what it is. This One is shot what really in six games. Put yourself there for those grand finals. finals. And Thomas is only at Cassidy 11 points. He needs to get up closer one. towards 20 so this to is get to top 25. Here's and a replay. Have of Benji Fisher has the points. And we mentioned how contested Murphy is going to be. Benji having to deal with an ambush. He is going to get the pickaxe off, but Loki is just going to make quick work of him. So now. But that means for the lobby is that Tazan can continue to get that, that lead higher and higher and higher. And higher. Anyway, it also means that Han, who was in third place, can keep moving up into second. So there is, while there is, this, this is key, there's a lot that says going into grand finals. You say, I, I think first, second, or third coming out of my heat. You really want to be able to say you made first. But right now, that looks unattainable. Yeah. But still, sometimes Benji can get the first place curse when it comes to it. Winning something in a heat and then going to grand finals, so a nice meter off there for him. Savage at 12 points is nowhere close to the top 25 just yet. It's kind of between 30 and 40. The 40th place. That's how they're gonna do it. So if you're not feeling comfortable being part of it, all you have to do is click no or yes. If you want to do yes.